تعطيهم استهداف تعطيهم شبابه Nasa Kiwanga visits the grave of his daughter, Tuli, who died earlier this month. Tuli died in a hospital in Dodoma, Tanzania's capital, one week after falling sick. Doctors told her family she died of pneumonia, but Kiwanga believes his daughter died of COVID-19. What sent my daughter to the hospital was that she started having breathing difficulties when at home. After that, she was sent to the hospital on Saturday morning. She lived for only two days with oxygen support. When the oxygen finished at the hospital, the life of my daughter ended there. According to a doctor who asked not to be identified, Kiwanga is correct. His daughter died of COVID-19. Since the start of COVID-19 pandemic a year ago, Tanzania's government has refused to admit the presence of the coronavirus in the country. Instead. The Tanzania's president has portrayed the pandemic as an economic opportunity. This is our time as Tanzanians as there is no COVID-19. We should use this opportunity to grow many crops so that for countries that will experience famine, we will set the prices of our products and sell to them. The government has not released any figures on coronavirus cases or death, making it impossible to gauge the true extent of the virus in Tanzania. But a few weeks ago, the U.S. Embassy in Tanzania warned that COVID-19 cases have risen considerably in the country since January. Meanwhile, Tanzanian opposition politicians such as James Mbatia are criticizing the government's position on COVID-19. I am one of the victims in my clan and our family. We had many deaths because of this problem. All of the symptoms are indicative of coronavirus. Others, we requested testing, and they came out positive for coronavirus. So who are we deceiving? Why are we deceiving ourselves? Tanzania's health ministry has touted the use of traditional medicine in the fight against COVID-19 and other diseases. The ministry also backs the president's recent dismissal of COVID-19 vaccines. For now, the government has no plans to receive the COVID vaccine being distributed in other countries. It should be known that the government, through the Ministry of Health, has its procedures to follow when you receive any health product. And this is done when the government is satisfied with the product. Manuel? Nasa Kiwanga and his family are collecting his daughter's belongings as they prepare to leave Dodoma for his home in the southern highlands of Tanzania. Kiwanga says he worries about those who might suffer the same fate as his daughter, victims of COVID-19 that no one is allowed to admit. Charles Kombe, for VOA News, Dodoma, Tanzania.